what is up guys welcome to the channel if you're new be sure to smash that subscribe button and if you haven't be sure to turn on your post notifications so you know exactly when the new video comes out because we got some exciting stuff coming to the channel so right now we're at the dodge dealerships we're gonna head in there and get some parts for our hellcat let's go we got what we need big box we are out Pirelli, just like on the Hellcat. Hey, I like how they matted out the the roof and then the trunk lid. That's pretty sweet. All right, guys. So we got all of our parts, and I think we can go ahead and start putting the front end together. So we'll catch you guys at the house. All right, so we are back home here. Let's go ahead and unpackage everything, and hopefully, we got everything to assemble that front end. Let's go ahead and unbox all this stuff. See what we got. See if we got everything that we ordered. Uh, dang, is that that one piece? Yep, it's that one piece. That one piece that we did not know that we needed, but that's something that's gonna help us put together that front end. Man, I, you guys thought the rear end looked good. Let's see what that front end looks like. Man, I'm very excited to put that together. It's gonna look like a beast. Oh yeah. We didn't know we had to have this, but apparently you do. I mean, <laughs> we were looking into it. We're like, wait a second, there's something that. Goes no, it's through. when I seen that uh, Hellcat at the drag strip. I was like, yeah, this sucker has something right there that we don't have. So I was like, yep. Did some research and we found out we need that. You know, that's just how it. Is. That's just how it is when you're rebuilding a the car. There's some parts that you know you forget about, but you get better as you go. So there's that. It's a bumper absorber. This right here is a seal. We, we don't have to crack that open. And then we got a baffle here. That goes right here. Front baffle. We're probably gonna turn the car around and work on it. Yeah, let me see. Somewhat like this. Yep. Just like that. Yeah, dude, I think we got everything see to put that? the front end together. I'm waiting on the lip, but there's another piece that the lip holds on to. Let's go ahead and unpackage this one. This is what holds that front lip. The goes lip goes on top of this one. Clips in like right here. Yeah, okay, that makes and sense. And it screws in at the bottom. And this is actually kind of like a little under tray type. Yeah, a little. Little guard to, you know, if you scrape something. But yeah, we're actually gonna go ahead and turn the car around, get right into it, start putting the whole front end together. What do you say? So now we are ready. We're gonna go ahead and try to assemble this front end as much as possible. All right, so we actually just brought in most of the parts that we need, the whole front end. Got the hood over there, just chilling. Got the new hinges next to it. Got all the grills and stuff here also. So we are ready to put this whole entire front end together. It's gonna take some figuring out, but we're gonna get it done. I wanna see what this front end looks like and bring this front end to life. Bill, get the grill. SRT grill going in. Finally. Oh, this thing is heavy now. Yeah. Goes in from there. Yep. All right. That's it. As usual, 
We just paused on the Hellcat build. It's coming along, but we got hungry and Fit Plus yet again coming in clutch. Just look at these meals, they're really delicious. Mmm, that, that smells good. I'm ready. I'm probably gonna try the, I think this is pot pie with some special sauce on there and some mm. green beans. Woo. I'm gonna throw that in the microwave, eat that. But guys, go check them out. The link will be down below. Go get you a supply, a week's supply of this. So man, throw it in the microwave and heat it up. The meal is fire, man. I just had a little bit. Man, that's some fire stuff. It tastes fresh. That's what I love about it, man. It's quick. You just microwave it, and it's yep. ready to go, man. Delicious stuff, and you stay healthy. Tastes like it just just got cooked, honestly. Like, for man, real. it's super good. All right, so we just ate a good meal. It is still raining, guys, but we are back out here. Look at that front end, though, man. Look at that. Woo-wee. I can't wait to throw in the hood. Line it up. It's a little bit loud, but we're still working on it, guys. We are still working on it. As you can see, man, this, man, where'd you get them? So we get to bolting down this bumper right here, getting it fastened on really good, and we just noticed that there is two little brackets that go right behind here that clip to the bumper. We didn't see them. I mean, we did order the two bottom ones at the dealership. He didn't talk about the upper ones, or we didn't even see them on the diagram. So we're gonna have to run to the dealership today put an order in but for now I mean they're on their good it's just you definitely need them brackets because as you can see it doesn't really line up exactly perfect so we're gonna go ahead and put on our new hood hinges right here and drop the hood on there and uh, let's see if we can line that hood up make this thing look good Shut that hood for him right quick we went ahead and installed the hood uh pretty much adjusted to where it's gonna go but we still need to put in the latch but dang look at that looks great don't it we just need to change that to the oem one yeah. probably paint that black since we don't have ours yeah, our we OEM. Have one oem one on here we just popped it off yeah. popped it on to see what it looks like it looks pretty dang it looks good. so much better than that okay. yeah, it looks cheap I mean, yeah it looks cheap I mean, you know that's just how it is but we're gonna go ahead and install this bumper rubber hood. It just, it, it goes right here in the middle of the hood in the bumper. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, put it on. It's just a bumper seal pretty much. Yeah, bumper seal, hood seal, whatever, whatever seal you want it to be. Look at that front end though, that looks sick. Step back for it. Oh, I'm back here, man. Shoot, wait till we hit them lights. That's what really transforms and makes it look great. I thought this was the lip when we bought it, but honestly, that's just the bracket in which the lip just clips on. We still got, you know, we're gonna run to a dealership today. We forgot to order some stuff. As you know, the bumper brackets and this little, I think there's a cover that goes here. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that thing too. The so cover, and then also the side marker lights that go here. So we got a few more things. We thought we were done ordering parts, but you're not ever done until you're done. Yeah, we're trying to get all, every, every little thing. Every little thing. this car up and uh, let, it rip. let it rip. I'm ready to let this sucker rip. This I mean, it's a beast, man. It's I just, haven't even, we haven't even tested it out yet, you know? We still haven't tested nothing. Dude, we don't even know. 700 horses under the hood. Horses. <laughs> horses, man. I'm ready to ride some horses, man. I know, right? That sucker right there is going to rip. I can't wait to take it to drag strip. That's just always on my mind. That's, that's the thing that just keeps going through my mind. But... Let's keep on working here and do as much as we can and puzzle piecing things together. All right, so we're actually gonna go ahead and head to the dealership, order what we need. Now, this is this has gotta be the last of them, right? Yeah. Because you're making a list. If you, yeah. Once you start making a list, that's it. So I got the list. We know what we need to get. Let's run to the dealership and get everything we need. All right, guys, so we got our stuff ordered at the dealership. Everything that we ordered is gonna be here next video, so stay tuned, and we're gonna head back to the house and start finishing up that Hellcat. All right, so all the parts are finally ordered. Check mark. We are ready to put this thing completely together as soon as they arrive, of course. But for now, what are we gonna do? We can put together this door panel here. All right, guys, before we continue working, there is one thing that we've been meaning to do. And I know you guys are tired of looking at it, so let's go ahead and take care of it. There you have it, that's much better. Now, if we had an OEM one right here, we'd also pop it in, but we're probably just gonna paint this one black. That way it matches everything. Just get rid of that, that silver look. That chicken wire look right there. 
pretty much. So. It's all look good. Now we're actually gonna move on to the interior here. We got the door panel sitting there. We can start with this side here because it's already buffed, but on the other side, we gotta hold off until he actually finishes buffing and polishing it. We're gonna get back to work here and we're gonna continue piecing this thing together. That one was a little bit tricky. You gotta really remember how this goes. It goes behind the reel, because if you forget, you go to put that window down and it's gonna catch one of your wires and it's gonna rip it in half. So we don't want any of that. We made sure to do it right. So this door is 100% complete. Got the handle tightened on, everything is back in. All the OEM bolts, of course, clips, everything works. Ignition is off, yeah. Battery's dead and the ignition is off. Now oh, yeah. we're gonna focus on this trim right here where oh, we yeah. gotta drill out. That's right, those are riveted on, which kinda sucks, yeah. but. come on, Dodge. Come on, Dodge. Make it easy for the rebuilders. Yeah. But this is what we gotta do, so we're gonna go ahead and hop on that and take care of them rivets. So finally this door is completely trimmed out as you can see we got everything on there from the mirror to the handle to the trim now it is time to actually pop on this side skirt here because we are done buffing and uh polishing on this side so we're able to put this on so i think it just snaps right in right yep should just slide right in she looks clean on this side look at that I mean, it's dirty. It needs a wash. It's gonna need a full detail, but oh man, that's tough. Yeah, I can't wait to detail this thing, man. There's something. It's just step by step, guys. But as you can see, that side is nice and shiny. You can see the reflection. It's getting kind of late here, but we're still gonna continue working. Dang, man, I forgot what that front end looks like. Right. And I, I can't believe it's together, actually. I know, right? But the battery's a little bit, a little bit low. So we're gonna go ahead, are you ready to crank it up? What is that? I think that's a little, little warning. Yeah, uh, blind spot warning. Oh yeah, this thing's got the sensor, man. This thing is sick. I cannot wait, dude. I cannot. Stop! Sir, you're under arrest. Alright, so we're actually gonna sand outside, so I'm gonna go ahead and move the Mustang while we still got some lighting and uh, we don't really want to get the shop wet on the inside. There's a little bit more to sand, so you guys want a cold start? Alrighty guys, so we got it pulled out over here closer to the garage to the water spout. So as you can see, he already sanded this off camera, the whole entire door, the whole entire quarter panel. All we got left is this trunk lid, right? Trunk lid. Front bumper, front fender, and yeah. that's pretty much it. And the rear bumper if we want. I mean, the rear bumper turned out pretty smooth. Oh yeah. That's pretty much it, as you can see. A little bit more buffing, but we wanna just go ahead and take care of that. That way we can go ahead and put together this door panel, all the trim around it. And the only thing that's going to be left is putting the interior together. So yep. this thing is getting really close to completion, guys. I mean, the weather has not been the best, but we have still been putting together stuff. It yeah, doesn't, we got our shop mail. Yeah, it shop. really doesn't affect us. Although we still don't have garage doors and stuff like that, but and, lights, and lighting, man, it's a big, it's coming that's together. a big negative minus for us. But we'll get it taken care of.
All right, so we got it completely sanded and ready for buff. It is a little bit late, but we're still gonna continue working. We got some lights in the garage and I think we'll be good. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the Hellcat into there and we're gonna continue with the buffing process. All right guys, so we got the Hellcat in the garage. It's pretty dang late and we got a lot of things to clean up. So we're gonna wrap it up for today. And we'll catch you guys right in the morning. All right, so yesterday we didn't have time to buff, so today we're gonna finish buffing so we can put together that door panel. got this whole entire side buffed other than the top of the fender and also the front of the bumper which he's gonna get done pretty dang quick so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to this door here I'm gonna go ahead and install all the trim and also door panel mirror and handle Alrighty guys, so finally both of the doors are completely put back together. We just left this handle off because we are gonna polish this whole side right here. But right now we're gonna go ahead and pull it outside, give it a good wash, and then we're gonna polish. just so we can polish it, but dang. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. We just cleaned the car, we're getting ready to polish it, but you get the gist of it. You know what it's gonna look like when we're done with it. That'll be in the next video. Hopefully it'll be 100% ready to even hit the streets. Fingers crossed. So guys, with that being said, if you're new, be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned. Be sure to turn on your post notifications because we got some awesome things on the way. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Goon Squad. You get the inside scoop there before YouTube. If you haven't, be sure to copy something at GoonSquad.com. Copy some merch and support your boys. All the support is much appreciated. And if you want to become a Patreon, the link will be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And we'll catch you next time. Peace.